Hello everybody, good to be with you again. I thought I'd like to introduce you to a couple of friends of mine. This is Scarlett and this okay, uh, okay, is Scarlettina, her daughter. But as you can see, Scarlettina is very, very naughty and Scarlett has a lot of trouble trying to keep her quiet when we're trying to have a conversation. Now, Scarlettina, as I said, is Scarlett's daughter. So Scarlettina, oh, okay, okay, Scarlettina was asking me what this Mothering Sunday is all about. So I thought I would have to explain to them and I thought I could talk to you about it as well. But only if these two are going to be quiet. Are you going to be quiet? Right, okay, now let's sit quietly. Well, Mothering Sunday started a long, long, long time ago, hundreds of years ago, when people used to go back from wherever they were working, particularly young people, go back to their families and go to their mother church. So the church where they'd been christened, where their family went on a regular basis. And it was called Going a Mothering, would you believe? And when they went, because the, ch the young people going back home wanted to take something home to their mothers and their families, they would pick, okay, they would pick flowers on the way from the hedgerows and they'd take the flowers and they'd give them to their mothers. Just as a sort of thank you for being mum, but also being glad to be home with the rest of the family. And off they'd go to church and they'd be able to go and sing God's praises. Oh! together. Yeah, I know you two like singing. Okay, thank you. So this carried on for a long, long time. Some, some years it wasn't as popular as others, but we still think about it now. And it is different to Mother's Day, really, because Mothering Sunday is a religious festival where we remember the, our mother church, the church where we were christened, where we go regularly. So for us, because we regularly go, when we can, to the cathedral. The cathedral is our mother church, the church that looks after us. But I thought today it might be quite nice to look at some of the mothers in the Bible uh, to see, OK, don't get excited, to see what uh, the mothers in the Bible might have been doing. And I wonder if you can remember a very special mother in the Bible. It goes right to the beginning of the Bible. And it's about a lady called Jochebed. And she was a, a lady who was an ancestor way, 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 way back of Jesus. And at that time, instead of living in the Bible lands, the ancestors of Jesus were living in Egypt. If you might remember, they'd all gone to Egypt um, following Joseph with his multicolored dream coat. Anyway, they were living in the land of Egypt, but the ancestors of Jesus were not being treated very well. They were made to be slaves. And the Pharaoh at the time, so a bit like the king, decided that there were too <coughs> quiet, there were too many of them. So he said that if a one of these ladies, one of the Jewish ladies, if she had a baby boy, that baby had to be killed. What an awful thing to do. Can you think that? They weren't allowed to have any baby boys. Well, this lady called Jochebed was very excited because she was expecting a baby, just as Scarlet was when she was going to lay her eggs and Scarletina arrived. Anyway, when the baby arrived, it was a boy and he was a beautiful boy. Oh, he was so beautiful. And Jochebed said, I don't want him to die. I don't want die so she kept him hidden for a long time but of course you know what babies do they grow up and he started to be a bit noisy and she thought I'm gonna to have to do something now I know what I'll do I'll see if I can save him by floating him down the river anyway she made a basket and she put tar inside so it wouldn't get any water through and she put Moses into the basket and she put him in the side of the river by the bulrushes. <laughs> okay. Anyway, 
Jochebed also had a little girl called Miriam. But Miriam was all right, of course. So Miriam hid in the bushes to see what might happen because the pharaoh's daughter used to come down to the river to bathe because they didn't have baths in those days, so they used to bathe in the river. And Moses was asleep when he was put in the basket. But after a little while, what does a baby do? <coughs> Wakes up and makes a lot of noise, yes. So the princess heard the baby crying and she said to her servants, go, go and see what that noise is. So off they went and they brought back Moses in the basket. Well, the princess looked at him and said, oh, it's me gorgeous baby. Oh, we must keep him. But how can I look after a baby? Just at that time, Miriam popped up and she said, um, my mum's very good at looking after babies. She could look after him. So the princess said, call your mum. So she called Jochebed, who then took Moses and looked after him until he was big enough to go and live with the Egyptian princess. I think that's a rather lovely story, don't you? And it just shows you about the love that a mother has for her babies, for her children. And today we're celebrating that love that our mums and all our carers have for us. That they love us so much that they will do anything for us. And we have to be really happy about that, just as Scarlettina is. And we have to be thankful. So I hope today that you are being thankful to your mums, to all the people who care for you, and also to be thankful about that we have our wonderful cathedral that's very, very soon we're all going to be able to meet in again. So today, a special day when we celebrate special people, our mums, our carers, and we hope that all children, just like this one here, will be good and caring today because that's what we all want isn't it for us all to live happily together and our story just showed how in the end the baby was saved by his mother and was able to live a happy life and we'll find out a bit more about Moses as he grows up in a later story I'm sure well I hope you all have a, a lovely day we can't all join together and sing God's praises as we'd like to but very soon we're going to be able to come together and sing God's praises and share some fun together. So have a super day and look after your mums. Bye.